My name is Mike Manos. This video is step-by-step -step instructions on how to properly remove the blower, the burner, and inspect your heat exchanger on the FT series boiler. Tools needed would be a 5 16 nut driver, possibly a Phillips head screwdriver, a small socket, 5 16 really helps, a small flathead screwdriver for the burner, and also a crescent wrench. I'm going to start by removing electrical. Removal of electrical is done pretty easily. There's a Molex connection. Push on the tab, pull it out, and also on the fan. Next, we're going to remove the gas line from the venturi. This is done with a crescent wrench or an open end wrench. Please note there are two gaskets. If need be replaced, you can find them in the gasket kit. And also, the orientation of this, short side to the top, long side to the bottom venturi. Please note your gas orifice is located in your venturi. I remove this now so you don't lose it. And there is a right and a wrong way to put this in. Beveled side towards you, flat side inside the venturi. Next, we're going to remove the hose going to our air pressure switch from the air intake boot. And we're going to remove the air intake boot from our venturi. Next, we are going to remove the blower assembly as one. Removal of the blower assembly is done by removing the four 516 screws that holds the blower plate on. I'm using a micro driver set, it comes in real handy. These 516 screws also have a Phillips head, so either or will remove it. Now, after removal of the 516 screws that hold the blower assembly in place, I'm going to remove the blower assembly as one. On the 140 model, you cannot remove the blower assembly in one piece. You must remove the blower and burner arm from the burner plate. To do this, please remove the four 516 screws from the burner plate. Using a 516 small socket wrench or micro driver, there are three different lengths of the 516 screws in the blower assembly. Please note where they go and make sure you reinstall them in the correct location. After removal of the blower and burner arm, please remove the blower plate. This is done by four 516 screws and also a small socket wrench. Next we're going to remove the burner gasket and the burner. Removal of the burner is done with a small flathead. There's a notch in the burner. In most cases, we find things like PVC shavings stuck in the burners from the installation. We can find dryer lint, grass clippings. All of these things can plug up the holes on the burner. Uh, this needs to be cleaned. Uh, do not vacuum the back side, only vacuum the front side. Be careful not to damage the back side of the burner. This is a ceramic felt material. Do not scratch, do not touch, and do not place this upside down. After removal of the burner, check your igniter. Remove electrical, two Allen head screws, up and out at an angle. Check overall condition of your igniter. If necessary, clean with a non-abrasive material such as a dollar bill. At this point, check your heat exchanger. If necessary, clean with white vinegar or a non-corrosive solution. After cleaning of your heat exchanger with a non-corrosive solution, please clean your condensate trap. To check your ignition transformer, push on the tab and pull forward. There are two tabs on the ignition transformer that pinch together. Um, you can inspect and check your ignition transformer. When putting it back into position, catch your back tab first and now clip in your front tab. While cleaning and inspecting your heat exchanger, it's important to clean the sight glass behind the flame sensor. Now after inspection and cleaning if necessary of your heat exchanger, I'm going to assemble in reverse order. During reassemble of the 516 screws, it's important not to cross thread or over tighten any of the 516 screws into the aluminum. Now that you've checked your burner and your heat exchanger and cleaned if necessary, please make sure you check your combustion. 
If you're not familiar with this process, please watch our combustion setup video. If you have any technical questions, please contact the factory at 1-800-900-9276.